Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports Gematria. I am going to run through three different games in the last three days that line up with the Hebrew religious calendar. And it's really fascinating. Um, you know what they say, first time's an accident, second time's a coincidence, third time is a pattern. And we get all three in a row, three different teams on three different days in a row. So what I'm talking about is, well, first, if you saw my last video, uh, Lesson 36, I talk about the Lakers and the Pacers and why I chose the Pacers to upset the Lakers on Tuesday, which was the 24th on the Gregorian. Well, the reason why I chose that game also was because um, it's it, on Tuesday, we're looking at, this is the daily numbers for Tuesday. Uh, it was the 19th day of the ninth month on the Hebrew religious calendar. And the Pacers, which is right here, they went 19 and 9 for the season, upsetting the Lakers. So on the 19th day of the ninth month on the Hebrew religious calendar, uh, the Pacers went 19 and 9. Now, what's very fascinating about this day <clears throat> on, on the Gregorian is that it was the 17th day of December. And that actually has a mathematical connection to 199 as well. Here, I'll show you. You put in 1217. You find out that it's the 199th prime number, which kind of really strengthens the idea of the Pacers going 19 and 9 on 1217, which also happens to be the 19th day of the ninth month on the Hebrew religious calendar. So that was really cool. It was a really cool connection. I did a single on that. 10 bucks to win 17 it hit awesome day the next day which is wednesday it became the 20th day of the ninth month on the hebrew religious calendar now on wednesday i got this pick wrong and i kicked myself for getting it wrong it was the heat versus the 76ers up here the heat won. i picked the 76ers for as you can see i have these other colors in here for a different reason but really what it came down to is that the 76ers fell 20 and 9. Here, I'll take off this red so you can see a little better. When the Sixers lost, they became 20 and 9, 209, on the 20th day of the ninth month on the Hebrew religious calendar. And the reason why I didn't take this connection is because originally with the Pacers, I was going to scroll up, but originally with the Pacers, you know, the 19 and 9, on Tuesday, it also had a connection to the Gregorian 1217, the 199th prime. That was very overwhelming. It's almost hard not to take that. But for Wednesday and the 76ers, the 20 and 9, it being the 20th day on the ninth month, it didn't have a connection to the Gregorian calendar as well. So I didn't consider it as strong. And boy, was I wrong because the Heat won. The Heat got their 20th win. Uh, and Sixers stayed on 20 wins, getting their ninth loss, 29 on the 20th day of the ninth month. In my mind, I was hoping, I wish it had a nine here, so they both went 20 and nine. That would have that would have got me to do it. But I made up this other narrative that was completely wrong, and you know I kicked myself for it. But here's the cool thing: yesterday, which which is Thursday. We had the Rockets and Clippers. It was the 21st day of the ninth month on the Hebrew religious calendar. And guess what the Clippers did? They fell 21 to 9 on the 21st day of the ninth month. So we have three different teams on three different days in a row embodying the Hebrew religious calendar date as their season record. And... You know, I got fooled the second time with the uh, 76ers. You know, that was my mistake. But I definitely wasn't going to get fooled for a second time. I was all for the Clip Clippers losing. Um, Rockets got off to a bumpy start in the game. I was nervous. So I, I basically ripped the Rockets off because the Clippers were up by, like, I don't know, 20 or something like that. And then they came back and won it, which is super cool. Uh, but again, let's go through this again. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here we go. The Pacers on Tuesday, the 19th day of the ninth month, on the Hebrew religious calendar, the Pacers become 19 and 9 
as a season record. The 76ers, on Wednesday, the 20th day of the ninth month, they fall 29. They get their ninth loss sitting on 20. Okay? And I got that pick wrong. However, I wasn't going to be wrong two times in a row. Yesterday, Thursday, the 21st of the ninth month, Clippers fall 21 and 9. Okay? Fascinating pattern. As they say, first time's a co accident, second time's a coincidence, the ter third time is a pattern. We have a straight solid pattern here. The only negative about this is today, it being the 22nd day of the ninth month, there's no NBA teams on the board that can go 22 and 9, which is kind of a bummer. So this three-day pattern was only for three days, and that was it. I was able to benefit on two of the three days. Let's roll through it one more time. On the 19th day of the ninth month, on the Hebrew religious calendar, the Pacers fall, or if Pacers go win their 19th win and stay on nine losses, 19 and nine. On the Hebrew religious calendar, the 20th day of the ninth month, the 76ers fall, 20 and nine. On Thursday, the 21st day of the ninth month, the Clippers fall, 21 and nine. 